What's up, guys? Your boy Josh McGee Gaming Reactions. We back with another one. Star Wars Legos. Y'all know I'm gonna be playing this game. I'm probably gonna put out gameplay because y'all usually don't like the live streams. Y'all seem to want me just to record and put out 4K footage, which is fine. But y'all know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You see the jacket? No, I got. I gotta get me another camera so y'all can see my wall. And I got books and stuff. I'm a big star. It's my favorite thing. So we finna react to the um development diary so we want the creator we want to listen to him it's like four minute lit video of the game so i want to check that out let's go i've been a massive fan of lego and star wars since i was very young there's lightsabers there's spaceships there's weird aliens it was just a privilege to be able to work on the game it's just a franchise that spans all generations. I'm gonna make the jump to light speed. On. As soon as we started talking about doing a new Lego Star Wars game, the ambition swelled because as fans, we love all the movies and to have the opportunity to tell the whole saga from episode one all the way Mal. through to episode nine, we knew we had to Damn. take it further than we'd ever been. We started off by having regular meetings with Lego and Lucasfilm, discussing just everything about the visual design of Star Wars, what makes a Star Wars game, how we might integrate Lego oh, into wow. this okay. game. They gave us access to all of their libraries, which was the greatest thing to be able to dig into. Wow, this game going to be deep. The storytelling throughout Lego Star Wars is incredible and filled oh. with jokes and funny moments. That's funny. Because in a Lego game, we have freedom. You can use the humor and we can spin it. So Han Solo is still being Han Solo, but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something like that. Oh. We knew we needed to refresh the game and get something that felt familiar but reinvented. The systems, the frameworks we put in place to enable us to do that over like a hundred different gameplay mechanics and all the different systems that make Look up at this, y'all. Look at what they, be, they have to go through voices. to make these games so and movies for you. So when you pick up a helmet and you put it on, your Not voice easy. changes to sound like you're a stormtrooper. Well, looks like you've got a stormtrooper problem you should look into. We're putting a lot of emphasis on, on the lighting and the environments. We have something like 12,000 materials that were generated for the game. Wow. 20,000 unique models and 26,000 textures. I can't wait. If you're a fan of Lego companies, work, you'll be amazed almost at every the scene resolution for Star Wars and movie. the amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all of these iconic designs literally brick by brick. We built the ships entirely out of Lego bricks. That's not just the exterior of the ship, that's the interior, so you can land inside these ships and walk around in an environment entirely made out of Lego bricks. If you were to build one of our capital ships in real life, it would take millions and millions of bricks. We've designed wow. some of the characters that don't exist as physical models. What we would do is we'd look at the film reference and we take existing Lego creatures and characters that are similar, and then what we end up with is something that is as accurate as we could make it. Take the Bantha, for example. So it's just really true to Lego IP and it's really true to the film IP. Uh, uh, uh. We wanted an evolution, I suppose. So what we've done is try to keep what's familiar, but really add something a bit more modern in, a bit more fresher. One of the things we've done in this game is we've gone for a third person camera. With the blaster combat in the game, we really wanted it to make it feel more visceral. Now when you use the blaster combat, we bring the camera down, we get into this like third person perspective. Oh look, they got my really girl with the black hair, let's go. The action, got this, which is I pretty like great. it. Using the you force the is a huge part of the game. The Jedi, the, the Sith, they all have this force power where they can literally pick objects That's off dope. the floor and fling them about. We really took advantage of that force power that we haven't done in previous games. You can fly into space and there's like just interactions that will happen. Giant ships like a Star Destroyer coming in. You can hmm. try and fight it and you go defeat it and you can capture it and take it over. Hmm. I think when we're making these games, we think about the fans a lot. So there's a few Easter eggs in this game, some stuff that we're really excited to get in. You can switch all the weapons so that it's mouth noises. So you can be like, woo, woo, pew, pew. Uh, uh. 
and of course uh, you might have heard of a little thing called mumble mode. So mumble mode is basically how the old Star Wars games were. We had to rely on animation, expression and these sort of mumbles that mimicked the speech. It goes... Yeah, I ain't like that. I want to hear their voices. Some people... Yeah. Yeah. That's how the old games were. Yeah, I don't like that though. Seeing your work. Oh, you get the fight. On a scale like this really makes oh, it feel so far. Like it's something special. Let's go. This is the ultimate experience of going everywhere and in the again, universe. And again, you can yo butt. Whatever Whoa. character you want and really being in Star wow. Wars. Wow. I can't wait I to can't play this with my to son. Players to see the hard work. It's been a really ambitious project. Yeah, we're going to play this what together. Achieved, they should be rightfully proud of. Yeah, we're playing this game together. Oh, man, that was dope. That was dope. April 5th is going down. Me and my kid gonna be on this one. Wow. Hey y'all, man, that was dope. Um, y'all know how I feel about it. We'll be be here April fifth. Be on the channel. Make sure you're looking out for the gameplay. It's going down. I don't got much to say. The video spoke for itself. The game's turning out good. You can jump planets, fly out of space, fight star destroyers, go to all the planets. Everything that ever happened and all the stories is there. Hope they add Mando and Grogu somewhere in there, though, as like a DLC or something. That'd be dope. But that's how I feel about it. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, Josh McGee Gaming Reactions, and I'll see you in the next one.